Hey there, it is Jay Crater with RideshareDojo.com. It has been a long time since I posted a weekly tip, and uh, this weekly tip is called Seize the Day, and I'm just going to tell you what's been going on since the last tip some six months ago. So last year I suffered three big losses. Uh, first one was Anthony Bourdain. He passed away. Anthony Bourdain is the reason that I decided five years ago to pack everything up and head off to Thailand, which uh, just began this whole wonderful part of my life where I travel now a lot more than I did before. And um, I just opened my eyes to a whole new world. He just died. Then one of my best friends, a guy named Zoe Lamantia, who's been my mentor since 1990. He was my first uh, independent contractor sales manager. And we've traveled a lot and uh, done a lot of adventures and he died. And then less than a week after that, my own dad passed away on July 6th. And what I want you to uh, listen to here is just um, in, in my book called What's Next, um, I wrote a dedication to my dad and I just feel compelled to uh, share it with you guys. My dad's name, uh, I'm named after my dad. So I'm Jerry, my legal name is Jerry Crater II, and I was named after my dad, Jerry Crater. The dedication. This book is dedicated to my dad, Jerry Crater. I was lucky. I got a great dad. While I was growing up, I knew I was loved. Still, the things that we remember as kids are usually the little things. I remember dad getting up early every day to head off to work at the Safeway store. Side note, he was a Safeway store manager, worked for Safeway for almost 40 years. At 5 a.m., I heard rustling in the kitchen, and then the back screen door closed, followed by the sound of the gate closing. Dad was gone, off to work. He led by example. I remember the excitement when, every once in a while, I would come home from school, and Dad would be there in the front yard, raking leaves, having taken a rare afternoon off. My dad worked hard for us. I didn't appreciate it then. I was a kid and all I wanted to do was play. But I do appreciate it now. My dad taught me to work hard. I knew that when I got my first job as a paper boy at the age of 13 in Pleasant Hill, California, I had better do it well. It has been the same for every work assignment since. Doing a job well, working hard, leading by example, it is in my bones. Thank you, Dad. So that was my dad. So seize the day because we don't know when it's going to end. This dance is coming to an end, and it can happen pretty suddenly. My dad really, within a, week, a period of two weeks, went from a prognosis of five to ten good years to gone. So how am I seizing the day? Well, I'm going to start doing these weekly tips again, and I've rebranded as RideshareDojo.com. And... In six weeks, I'm going to launch a podcast just for rideshare drivers. It's going to be at minimum twice a week, probably Monday and Friday. And I'm going to be doing interviews with passengers. I'm going to have special guests. We're going to talk about music that we listen to. We're going to talk about podcasts that we listen to. We're going to talk about news, things that are happening in the industry. And it's going to be a chance for all of us to kind of connect and be connected and uh, feel a part of a team. So that's something to look forward to, and that's me seizing, doing it. Not talking about it, not thinking about it, but actually doing it. So that's it for today. Next week, I'll talk about more <clears throat> rideshare industry kind of stuff, like what's it like getting a fair car rental, which I've now had for three weeks, or what do I think about the Lyft and Uber IPO, where... People that did 10,000 rides get $1,000, and people who did 20,000 rides get $10,000, and people who did me, 14,000 rides, and I only get $1,000. What do I really think about that? So these are the kinds of things we'll be talking about uh, week to week with the uh, weekly tips, and I will try and impart some sort of knowledge and wisdom, something that I think will help you become a better driver, which means working less hours and making more money. Y'all go out and have a great day. It's Jake Crater. <clears throat> Bye-bye.